Hey, welcome back to another episode of Owlboy. <laughs> As always, this is Xavier Penguin. I've been talking for a little bit today, and hopefully I can get voices down right. <clears throat> Just waking up after probably about an hour or so waking up, so things might be a little different. Let's go ahead and continue where we left off. And if I recall right, which by looking at the... <laughs> my process video <laughs> after I got started today. Um, we need to go find um, Azio. Now we did go find. Whoop, hello. Oh, come on. Wait. Yeah, we did go find um, Getty or Cletus. But we need to go over this way. Wait. Wait, we need... I think we need to go this way. Wait. Now we need to go... find Azio. I think he... well, that doesn't lead anywhere. Hello, Bungo Man. I think he might be this way. <laughs> yeah, there he is. It's a disaster. I can't remember what his voice was. I think it was pompous. A disaster. Advent destroyed. Pirates roaming free. And the professor comes and tells me that the ruin holding the relic was opened? If the pirates gather all the relics, then we are all doomed. And with Advent gone, we can't stop them. Otis, you're here, are you? Leave me. Ouch, dude. I don't want to see you here again. Oh, he's so sad. I can't stand. No, I mean, I can. But I can't believe how good the graphics are to convey emotion like that. I mean, he was so sad. Leave me, Otis. I don't want to see you here again. Fine. And then I leave. Psst. Master Otis. I must not be seen here, but we must talk. Let's meet up in your house. We can talk there in private. Nice. And talk we shall. I don't know my controls very well. Whoop, nope. Whoop. Hello, food. I'll get you later. My little house. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Ah, Master Otis. Master Getty. Forgive me for hiding in your home, Otis. It would do no good if the locals saw you fraternizing with the former pirate. Especially after what has happened. Advent is destroyed and there is nothing we could do to stop it. Malstrom and the pirates? Why would they do such a thing? Wow, I sounded really nasally there. One second. Okay, that was really weird, and it felt really weird <laughs> to keep talking like that. But yeah, why would they do such a thing? That's what I asked in the last episode. Alphonse, is there something you're not telling us? I'm really nasally today. <laughs> Alphonse, if you know something, anything that can aid us against Molstrom, it might help us prevent yet another attack on Veli. 
You are most certainly right, Master Cletus. Malstrom, the pirates, and myself. We were all created by the owls. What? Yeah, the the look on Otis's face. That, that that's that that that's my look. What? Your men <clears throat> Your mentor is right, Otis. Molstrom is gathering ancient owl relics. And when he gets them all, he will be unstoppable. There goes my stomach. I will tell you what I know. No one knows what our original purpose was. Likely, we were merely servants for the owls. Using our strength, the owls could reach for higher knowledge. They designed various models, each made for a specific function. We were expected to optimize. We would constantly improve our ability to carry out our function. But as you know, the ancient owls and what remained of their cities all but vanished. Without their guidance, we continued our tasks blindly for centuries. Molstrom, greatest among the war units, rampaged. Built for war, he always needs something to destroy. None could oppose him. Those of us who didn't agree to follow him were exterminated. The pixel art, oh my goodness. Molstrom took us to the sky and gave us a new name, Pirates. With him as our captain, we roamed the sky, growing ever more powerful. Until at last the captain heard of the relics. The relics are artifacts of terrible power, remnants of the ancient owls at their peak. To Molstrom, their power is irresistible. Captain Molstrom has found two relics. One that was hidden in Veli, and the other in Advent. Wait, so you're saying the pirates destroyed Advent just to get to the relic? Yes, Master Cletus, and now only one remains. If he gets the third and final relic, I'm afraid Molstrom will be unstoppable. Is there nothing we can do? There is, but I admit I am hesitant. My suggestion to try to stop the pirates in Advent put your lives in danger. Perhaps it would be best if we didn't try to meddle with the pirates anymore. Well, if we don't meddle with the pirates, they're going to destroy everything anyway. Ah, <sighs> come on, Alphonse. The pirates are threatening Valley. We have to try to stop them. What happened in Advent wasn't your fault. I screwed up most of all. My sole duty was to protect us from pirates. If we don't fight back against the pirates, I can't ever make things right. The pirate's next destination will be a ruin called the Floating Continent. In an ancient owl structure there, the owls hid the last relic that Molstrom needs. We must leave Valley and fly high up into Strato. That is where we will find the Floating Continent. Then we should go to Strato now. It's the only way we can save Valley. I shall be in hiding here until you get out of the village. Alright, Otis, you ready? Let's go. Well, I'm grabbing this and drinking it because, you know, why not? Alright, let's enter. There we go. Well, I guess I can. Let's see, where are those other boxes? 
Oh, well, that just took me nowhere. Wait, where's that lady that had the... Oh, that's a graveyard. Where's the lady that had the stuff to sell? I need to find her and see if there's anything that I can get. I'm the great Master Strix, and I am smart, sharp, and fantastic. I am Azio, and I am stupid. <laughs> oh, wait, I got another one. <laughs> I am Azio, and I am, uh, incompetent. Extremely incompetent. <laughs> okay, now, <laughs> look who it is. Oh man, it scared a cat Otis. I heard he was bravely locked up by his mentor during the attack. And that he bravely fainted during the commotion. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Not everyone is out to make a difference, Bonacci. That's right. At least we got a crate of food out of Advent before it was too late. Stupid phone. Strix even gave us guard duty over the supplies. We're the best. Yeah, so beat it, Otis. We've got it. We've got this taken care of. Billy will become a much better place from now on. You're jerks. Oh. Hi there, boy. The counterattack on the pirates didn't go so well, huh? I suppose I'm to blame for that as well. Don't beat yourself up over it. We have to think about the future now. Well, at least she's got a sunny outlook. I like her. Alright, so this is not it. Okay. Oh, well. Hello. You guys. No. Glad to see you safe, little Otis. Heard you were very brave in Advent. Don't push yourself too hard. Alright. Uh, no, it wasn't her. Well, I guess we won't uh, take a look then. Oh. <clears throat> he shakes the ground way too much. Dang it, Molstrom. Dang it, man. Alright, so we're in the Tropos. Eh, Troposphere. Alright. Alright, friends, this is Tropos. If we continue upwards, we'll eventually reach Strato. I've never been that high up before. Is it really safe, Alphonse? Not to worry, Master Cletus. I've sailed the Strato skies plenty of times. There are no more dangers there than any other places we've been. Uh, uh, all right. Welcome to Tropos, Buccaneary Shop. Straight up, yeah, that's what I wanted. Oh, you are a bad guy. <laughs> Alright, I need the Buccaneary Shop. This was what I was wanting. 
<laughs> she cracks me up. Welcome. Let's tally up that booty. You've collected 946 Buccaneer coins. Would you like, would you look at that? Time for another surprise. This next one is just cool. It's also very nice. <laughs> You're gonna just love it. <laughs> Give me a second here. <laughs> Tranky time. Tranky time. Here you go. I don't know what I got. It's Buccaneer's Nice Soup Canteen. Wrap your beak hole. <laughs> beak hole. Wrap your beak hole around that and tell me what you think. <laughs> Level up. <laughs> yes, no need to thank me. Just bring more booty. All right. So that actually increased my health. Like a, a permanent increase. Great Canteen. Attachable Blaster Unit for maximum range. Oh, I need more coins. It's a nice soup canteen. It'd be my own recipe, you know. But you already drank it, silly. Well, I want a hat. All right, we need to get more buccaneer coins. I need to probably go on a on a shopping spree. So we need to keep going up. All right, we were there. Oh, hello. Up floating continent down valley. Oh, that hurts. And there goes my hat. There we go. I move a lot slower with 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 you. All right, let's get rid of you. Hello. Floating continent down tropos. All right. Oh, hello. And there we go. There we go. I like that. Ooh, there's some stuff down here. What's down here? Oh. Can't do anything. Do, 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 do. Ooh, some more. Wait a minute. Yeah, I know that hurts. No. Alright. That's not cool. I want the stuff. Aw. Alright. Guess I can't get it. But I can. Oh, hey. I can get that, though. help anyone. Oh, you.
Oh, happy day. <laughs> well, mister, are you here to save me? I've been stuck down here for ages. I'm so hungry, I was just about to eat my own feet. Hey there, fella. <laughs> wow. Did you just get teleported? Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I did, actually. I guess I'm getting kind of used to it now. Wow, I wish I could teleport. I'd never be stuck again. Whoosh. <laughs> well, that's what it would sound like. <laughs> that's, um, that's great. I'd even be able to teleport away from Buccaneer's Punch. I mean, <gasps> oh. <laughs> I'd be able to return to Buccaneers right away. Yep. That's where I want to be. Okay, so should we help you out of here or... Yes, please. Alright, Otis. You're the carrying expert around here. I'll leave this one to you. Yeah. <laughs> His look was like, oh. Bye-bye, teleporting man. Hoopla! All right, I need food. There we go. Hoopla! <laughs> okay. Oof. Wow, mister. Thanks so much. I can totally make it from here. I'll be hanging outside Buccaneers with my bros. Come visit us soon, why don't you? Well, do I have time to go visit? <laughs> yeah, let's go visit. Should be. Oh. Nope. Now, where's the shop? Well, I think I may have skipped it. Yeah, I think I skipped it. I hope not, because I really want to go see if I get anything for saving them. Because that's where I need to go. Nah, fine. We're falling. Yeah, it should be down here. There we go. Oh, you're not allowed to talk to people. Okay, well, I thought I would get something. Apparently not. Dang it. All right, let's go back up. Oh, gotta redo that. Let's come up here. Let's see what we can find. Floating continent down trippers. Treasure seeker. Okay. Yes, I know.
Yeah, that can be burnt down. There we go. Yeah, I don't think I need to be here just yet. Alright, let's keep going up. Find a good place to save. Okay, I need food. I'm about to die. Alright, goodbye. Well. That was not cool. Oh. Crazy. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. It's too crazy. Too spooky five me. That might come later. Floaty continent. All right. Do, do, do. It's getting real pretty up here. I think we've saved. Let's see what. Ooh. Hmm. hmm. I don't know what to do for a voice for this person. I don't know if it's a male or a female. Hmm. Hmm. The floating continent. <laughs> I have no idea. The floating continent. The floating continent. Um, I'll just do normal. The floating continent. Greatest of the owl homes. The machines produced here were the finest the world has ever seen. For the first time, owl technology surpassed the capabilities of life itself. There seemed to be no end to the heights the owls could reach. So says the book of Nakte. I wonder if I have chosen the right path. Okay. Was that an acquaintance of yours? No. He sure knows his owl history, though. And it seems that he's following us. If he's got anything to do with the attack on Advent, I'll make him pay. Next time, let's grab him. Hmm, well, we can certainly try. But our most important task is to get to that last relic before Molstrom does. And that's where we'll end the episode. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Anyway, I'd like to thank you all for watching. My name is Xavier Penguin, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side.